Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Uh, for more information about Bookmap, go to bookmap.com. Uh, and uh, you're able to um, uh, uh, try the product or... Uh, well, I'll go through the, the pricing. It's just recently changed, as, as you guys know. Um, but um, along with the product comes education. So there's a four-part educational course. Uh, and um, uh, along with that course comes supportive uh, webinars uh, that uh, cover order flow phenomena in the live market uh, every day at 11 Eastern time. So directly after uh, this webinar. So uh, we... Uh, provide the education and then we back up that content in that education in the live market okay and we anticipate the price movements uh, in those webinars as well so looking for um, uh, you know um, order flow phenomena that that gives us like factual evidence to uh, uh, a high probability move in in a specific direction okay all right, let's take a look here at uh, bookmap.com quickly and uh, go through it here just uh, at the website. There's an intro video as you scroll down, more information about bookmap here. Uh, and then uh, NASDAQ total view, you can also connect bookmap to U.S. equities, and I'll uh, get into that in just a minute. Okay, a bit further down, connectivity. So what bookmap is, uh, is a visualization software trading platform, okay, uh, unique uh, visualization of uh, order flow phenomena and just a, really a, a unique view of the market in general. Uh, and um, uh, however, we are not a data provider. All right. So uh, you will need to provide your own data for futures uh, and U.S. equities. Uh, actually, for the digital currencies, uh, we um, uh, we're not providing it, but we have a, a, an offering where uh, you actually just get connected for free. OK. So uh, no charges there for the uh, for digital currencies. All right. So um, now we're a platform just like some of these that you see here, like Ninja, uh, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. Um, we connect via the API of these three platforms, though. So that's a, a possibility if you want to do that. Uh, however, we're a platform just like they are, so you can connect directly uh, through CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, IQ Feed, transact and, and dev experts now the dev experts here is for that nasdaq total view okay for the u.s equities um, and uh, we prefer that uh, uh, you know you connect directly to the data feed instead of going through the api of another program and then have that program then spit out the data into bookmap okay so it's a little bit uh, uh, well slightly quicker uh, and there is no manipulation of the data. It comes directly from your data feed. All right, a bit further down, pricing. Okay, you can see here you can go monthly or yearly uh, for a 20% discount. Um, there are two versions here, basically, uh, digital and global. Now, there, the digital uh, one here is free. Uh, it is uh, uh, no credit card required or anything. Uh, you can just download it now. It's real time. Uh, you, you get uh, you know the full depth, uh, and it's only for one digital currency though. Okay, so that's all you get, uh, and um, uh, you also get uh, just the basic education, which is this webinar and other resources on the uh, on the website that are free, uh, and you also have limited support. Okay, but uh, uh, you. Uh, uh, can connect. Uh, no, no data feed uh, is required uh, since uh, we're offering that through the the GDAX uh, for that one currency. Um, now the digital plus here. Well, let's go to monthly. Um, is the same uh, as digital here, except that uh, you can get up to 20 uh, different um, uh, instruments. Yeah, you can record your data and replay it back in replay mode, which is a real uh, benefit. Uh, as well as you get the one-click trading, so you can click. Uh, with one one click from the bookmap chart, and it will take uh, uh, trades uh, in uh, in your GDAX account if you have a GDAX account. Um, all right, you also get full support and advanced education. The global here uh, is forty nine dollars per month, includes everything in Digital Plus, 
uh, but it also supports uh, U.S. futures, uh, so uh, uh, CME, Eurex, et cetera, uh, and also uh, U.S. equities. Now, we don't provide the data. You will need to provide it, but uh, uh, we offer the support to it, so you can connect to over 10 different uh, trading platforms or different data feeds. All right, Global Plus, what you get is everything in global, uh, but you also get the ability to trade right from the chart with the one-click trading, and then there's a host of these um, uh, advanced uh, uh, add-on uh, indicators. Okay, now these are uh, what we put together. Uh, they're proprietary, uh, looking for specific uh, phenomena in the order flow, and um, uh, we're also starting to identify specific players. Okay, like the large lot tracker. Uh, looking for players that are holding majority of liquidity or uh, iceberg detector, uh, those larger players using iceberg orders that don't want to show liquidity. Uh, you can also see some imbalance indicators as well as a correlation tracker. Okay, so that's uh, what uh, the different offerings are. Uh, and then uh, let's take a look here at our Twitter page. Uh, you can see uh, at bookmap underscore pro is the Twitter handle, all sorts of information. Uh, that comes up here, retweets, etc. cetera. Um, uh, here's one from a uh, webinar series that we did for Jean-Marc Jean Soulieu, uh, excellent trader over in, uh, in Paris. Uh, and um, yeah, you might wanna, might wanna check that one out. Uh, it's uh, translated, uh, but um, uh, he's an excellent trader, uh, looks at volume profile, uh, and uses bookmap on high time frames. All right, so that's uh, kind of the interesting thing about uh, Jean-Marc. Uh, not only does he scalp, uh, but he also looks at higher time frames uh, and uh, is a big fan of Bookmap on those higher time frames. Okay, uh, here's our YouTube channel. Okay, you can subscribe to YouTube, and when there's new videos, you can get update uh, or alerted for it. Uh, here's the uh, Pro Trader webinar series here. You can click on the playlist here, okay, and uh, that'll open it up here. Uh, you can see that we have uh, Morad or Futures Trader 71 here. Uh, he's an uh, uh, excellent trader. Uh, many of you are uh, well aware of uh, who he is. Uh, and then uh, here's uh, Jean-Marc uh, Soulieu down here, uh, if you want to watch that one, uh, which, uh, which was just retweeted. Okay. All right. Uh, then uh, if you're new here, uh, I would... Uh, you know, recommend watching some of the intro videos here and then browse some of the features and components. The Bookmap 7.0 overview here uh, is new, so you might want to check that out. And then get into these order flow video snippets, okay? This is the uh, concepts, uh, very concise videos that cover these concepts of order flow. Uh, and then we go into detail in the advanced order flow webinars uh, with this uh, these concepts. All right, well, let's take a look at Bookmap. There's been lots of volatility here. Um, all right, so let's see, right off the bat, it got a question here. Uh, what are the numbers that appear at the end of the best bid and offer? Okay, right here, these numbers, this, this is last traded volume, okay? Uh, and um, there's uh, there's two numbers here, actually. So uh, I, I, I'm going to send you to a video on that, um, and I'll, I'll show it here, okay? So let's go to uh, features and components. If you want to understand the two different numbers there, uh, it's uh, it highly requested for uh, for a while by advanced traders uh, wanting to understand the volume trading at a specific price level um, and uh, uh, the uh, accumulation at that specific price level. Okay. So go to the features and components playlist here uh, and then scroll down a bit, aggregate volume counter. Okay, it's this one here. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, we can look at now. Uh, no, no problem. We can look at the S and P. Uh, we've been looking at uh, Nasdaq for quite a while uh, due to the lack of volatility, and that doesn't seem to be a problem the last few days. Tons of volatility. So uh, be careful out there. Uh, lots going on. Uh, larger players, uh, you know, unwinding. I mean, there's a lot of things going on. So be really careful out there. Uh, you, you may want to uh, really kind of zoom out. You, if you know if you're trading uh, used to trading just one lot, then uh, you may even want to just kind of stand aside and, and watch unless uh, 
uh, you know, you, you're looking for something very specific. Uh, if that is the case, you're going to have to widen out your stops. You're going to have to take on more risk. Uh, and um, uh, I would also recommend zooming out and looking at these higher levels of liquidity uh, in the book and understanding these levels because, uh, you know, even the S&P now is kind of trading like the DAX. Uh, so uh, it's just moving back and forth several points uh, very quickly here. I mean, this looks more like, yeah, it's even kind of quicker than the NASDAQ usually is. Okay. So uh, uh, that's, uh, I mean, you can, obviously it's, a, it's heaven for, uh, uh, you know, scalpers and, and, uh, and traders. Uh, but uh, uh, if you, um, uh, you know, are, you know, trading out with uh, just one lot or, uh, you know, are not accustomed to take, taking a lot of risk, uh, then uh, please, um, uh, you know, don't, all right? I mean, you can see the, the book here. So, the, I mean, this is one of the concepts that we cover. Uh, I mean, look look at the, the order book here, all right? Here's liquidity at these price levels. I mean, this is, I mean, there's a bit more liquidity than the NASDAQ usually uh, has, but, uh, you know, you see hundreds of contracts up here. Whereas NASDAQ usually is, you know, somewhere around this, like, you know, 30 to 80 level, something like that, right? Where it's about 10 times this difference here. Um, you know, we see, I mean, there's, we're in the tens here. Uh, usually, like, at each price level in the S&P, you see 200, all right? Now, that goes over a very key concept here, okay, to understand in these markets, okay? And this is why, you know, a book map is... The visualization of bookmap is is fantastic, right? And, and we can just demo it with this very simple concept here of lack of liquidity, thin markets, and volatility, okay? There are thin markets. There's not a lot of uh, liquidity. Where is liquidity? It's up here at 30. Looks like we want to come up and test that right now. Let's see if the uh, the buyers step in and, and uh, uh, lift the offer up into 30, okay? Uh, and uh, it can climb through these areas rather quickly, like it just did. And there we go, right into right into 30. All right. So there's your move right there. And we're seeing also a little bit of nefarious stuff here. There's a little bit of a flip of the book here. Uh, a little bit of spoofing on this side. Here's your beautiful flip. Um, uh, this is kind of concepts that we go through in the advanced order flow webinar. Uh, so uh, uh, you know they're providing liquidity here on the offer, and they flip to the bid. Um, and look at the volume here now, you know, it's, it's, it's trading above 29 or t above 30. Okay. And it's trending really nicely right now. Okay. So looking for 40 now, cause that's where the liquidity is. Uh, and they're pulling, right? So you can see how quickly we, I mean, we just moved 10 points, right? Is due to the lack of liquidity. Okay. Uh, just think of like your fundamental releases, uh, you know, your economic uh, scheduled releases like uh, oil inventories or your CPI or retail sales. Uh, they pull liquidity before the market. So where does the market go? It goes to those areas where there's high liquidity. Okay. So uh, really important to understand liquidity and how it works. Uh, and Bookmap visualizes it here for you. So, you know, where's the high liquidity now? It's at 46. Okay. So let me get into um, some of these uh, uh, details here um, about what, what we're looking at here and, and what we're showing. Okay. Because, uh, uh, you know, if you're new here, uh, you, you probably don't know what I'm referring to with some of this these uh, orange areas here or yellow areas or maybe even some of these blue areas or white areas because, uh, it's it's the the heat map here, right? Uh, it's it's taking this data that's in the the depth of market your dome, okay? Uh, where there's liquidity and traders lined up to provide uh, limit orders at these levels here on the offer and these levels on the bid. We take the data and we paint it into this window here in a heat map. So this is your best bid and offer here. Okay, uh, and uh, if it's high liquidity, it uh, you know you'll see it in the heat map. Okay, this area is orange, 392 contracts up here. That's why it's high liquidity, and that's why it's orange. Okay, uh, and uh, what the what's interesting though, and makes this dome so useful on not only you know small time frames but high time frames. 
okay? Because we take the data and we record it and project it onto the chart. So now you can read it, okay? And this is why it's gonna be helpful, especially in times like this. Okay, let me zoom out a bit and I'll show you. Okay, I'm having some internet problems here uh, and it's not book map. I mean, even my browsers are pretty pretty slow. So uh, let me know if uh, you, know, uh, you can hear me okay and, and see my screen here. But uh, uh, anyway, all right, so the dome is pretty useless here. Uh, I mean, we see these numbers changing pretty rapidly. Well, here's a recording of it, okay? And look what kind of insight we're getting here. We come down to high liquidity here, trades into it, trades through it. Uh, it slows down for a bit though, and it trades into the next area of high liquidity down here, okay? It trades through it for a little bit, but for the most part, this was absorbed, okay? This selling pressure was absorbed by this larger player who is sitting in the book for a long time Okay. In fact, you can see their movement here, actually. Pretty interesting stuff. Okay. Uh, they, uh, they were staying in the book here, and then they actually bumped it up, uh, high, higher liquidity in this area here, and they, they pulled it. But then as price is coming back down, they added back in. Okay. So it's showing something. It's giving us the understanding and the intent of these traders in this auction at these price levels. And then this uh, larger player, and it's, it's most likely the same player here, uh, has uh, pulled uh, a lot of the liquidity at this level here. I mean, it could be a number of players and they're just reading off of each other. Uh, and then they added a little bit lower though. So they're not so interested here. They're interested just uh, you know a couple points lower here. Uh, and they stayed in the book, okay? Why did this reverse, all right? Well, it, it's because a lot of that selling pressure is getting absorbed. Okay. In fact, we can see here, there's a, a, you know, it trades through a little bit more uh, and there is some selling down here, but after that, there, there's no more, no one else hitting the bid. We start to rotate back up and buyers step in uh, and trade it back up into the, the this kind of range here. Uh, it's going to be the uh, a high volume node of this range and we don't trade above it. Okay. And actually we, we sell right back off to where, where these guys got filled. Okay, and so we can see what uh, what's occurring here. Uh, and uh, uh, are, are these guys uh, back in the market here down at this price level of uh, uh, 2618? Nope, you know, they're, they're gone uh, or they're, they, they're in the market, okay? And we can see the reaction, okay? Now we're coming up into uh, some of these other levels, higher levels up here. This guy or these, these traders up here, uh, you can see just above the swing, Okay, note that. Uh, so they're looking for anyone that's uh, uh, gonna, gonna be uh, short is probably gonna be covering above the swing here and they're, they're willing to provide high liquidity up there. And actually we can see their behavior here as well. Uh, they pulled, okay? It's actually pretty interesting. They added in as price was coming up uh, and then it looks like we got maybe a little bit of a spoofing type of activity here. Uh, they drop it down lower uh, and they, they're pulling but they're adding, well, they're, they're still kind of at this level up here uh, around uh, this uh, uh, 48 and a quarter, okay? So without any sort of indicators, any sort of, um, uh, you know, derivative of time, price, or volume, we're really understanding what's going on in this market, okay? It's a pretty transparent view here. We know it's not because there's some FIB level down here, uh, we, we know what it's because there's traders down here and they got filled. Okay. And there were no more sellers. That's what happened here. All right. Uh, now, um, if uh, you, you trade fibs, well, that's great. Uh, line it up with uh, the uh, high liquidity that you see here. Uh, understanding of absorption of uh, selling pressure. Uh, understanding of buyers came, coming in and getting aggressive on the other side and lifting the offer to higher levels uh, and uh, and look for targets too. So if uh, uh, this was another FIB level or whatever kind of level it is for you uh, and, um, and there's liquidity up there, well, that uh, uh, should uh, uh, mesh nicely with your, your trading strategy, okay? All right. 
any questions? Okay, so uh, yeah, we're we're really kind of stepping back here, uh, as you can see. I mean, it's just it's just moving so so quickly here, uh, and uh, due to that lack of liquidity. All right, I mean, it, it's usually we see somewhere around 400, maybe you know, to 800 uh, at these uh, at these price levels. Instead, we're looking at in the tens, right, and uh, in you know the low 100s. That's uh, that's quite quite a change here, uh, and that's why the S and P is behaving like this right now. Okay, uh, let's see. For you know, usually I, I go through this um, uh, process with the candlesticks and showing you like how uh, we we break apart the uh, the candlesticks and 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 showing that uh, um, understanding of what book map. Uh, is displaying here for you. Uh, I'm kind of bypassing that one today because I wanted to cover these uh, these higher levels uh, and and utilizing your your dome uh, on these higher levels now because you can, right? Whereas the dome is almost useless at at our high at higher levels, um, higher time frame levels because uh, uh, it's it's impossible to. I mean, you're really going to have to be some sort of like savant or or something to. Uh, memorize uh, all of those levels, how they behaved, did they add, did they pull, where did they add or pull to, uh, how long ago. Well, all of that information is just recorded here in the heat map. It's just a really objective view of the market, and it's there uh, plotted on the chart for you. All right, so uh, now you can understand that part uh, and on the higher time frames. All right, um, now the traded volume. Uh, let's uh, let's cover that uh, a bit, and then there's some phenomena I want to show you guys, and uh, I may end up uh, taking that to the advanced uh, webinar uh, because there's all sorts of things, really interesting things going on in this market right now. Um, so um, yeah, let me let me go over the volume, and then uh, if we have a, a moment or two, because we got to end in about five minutes, uh, if um, uh, if I if I do, then I'll go over some of the uh, uh, ignition algos and uh, uh, some of these uh, really interesting phenomena that we're seeing here. Um, so, uh, and what I'm talking about is this. Okay, just a moment. As my chart uh, refreshes here. Okay, look at this algo here. Okay, so you know we can start to identify specific players in the market, right? Uh, and we know that this is one individual actor because he's he's pulling liquidity, adding it lower, adding you know pulling it, adding it lower, and very quickly, right? So uh, most of the time, what what this is, uh, you know, I'm it's very suspect when you see these types of things. Uh, to uh, that they're skewing the limit order book, uh, trying to maybe uh, spoof or push, uh, uh, you know, showing lots of supply to maybe push price lower into higher liquidity. Uh, in this case, though, in this kind of environment, um, you know, this guy maybe just really needs to get out of the market. And, uh, uh, you know, maybe he just uh, turned on his algo up here and said, get me out, okay? Uh, you can see it was blue up here, and uh, let's zoom into that area, all right? And let's see this uh, this behavior. Uh, you know, at a certain point, maybe uh, I, I, who knows, right? Um, I do know that there's a lot of um, a lot of people got caught uh, on the wrong side of these moves here. Uh, so uh, uh, that's why uh, a lot of a lot of the um, uh, order flow or a lot of the uh, this kind of behavior is going to show up. Uh, so we want to be be kind of careful in this environment, and yeah, it looks looks kind of like it, right? Kind of looks like uh, uh, this guy. He switched on his algo here. Maybe it might have been here for a while, and then it switched on, and then it's just I got to get out of the market. Uh, and um, uh, you know, he went from 45 down to uh, down to 30. Okay.
Yeah. Well, who knows? I mean, it here he is with high liquidity here, you know, 184 contracts. Here's our large lot tracker. This one, this line here shows that uh, one player is holding almost all of the liquidity at this price level. Okay. So that's the large lot tracker identifies it, but we can also just identify it by this activity. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, he ended up not getting filled here, right? In fact, he's still working it. So then based on this, it looks like he's trying to work it into some of this, uh, these levels here. Uh, so it does look like an ignition algo uh, type of activity to skew that, uh, um, uh, you know, the, um, the auction to get, uh, to get price to move down a little bit lower into some of these levels. All right. Very fascinating stuff to see. This would be invisible in the book. You wouldn't see it. Okay. Anyway, you're able to, to, to see that kind of stuff. Let's go back to the current market here. Uh, and, um, uh, just, uh, I'll, I'll just uh, briefly go over the volume here. So you guys understand what it is, uh, covered the heat map pretty much in depth here. Um, but the, uh, the book, God, this really does look like the NASDAQ. Um, all right, so uh, uh, we're just showing here, uh, and let me take the heat map off just for this demo, okay? There's just three elements on this chart that we're showing so far. One was that heat map, okay? So you guys know what that is. Uh, the other two elements are right here in front of us. One is historical best bid and offer. That's it. It's There's no uh, aggregation here, like in a candlestick. If you see the bid or the offer change, it's recorded in book map. Uh, and that's what we plot, okay? We just plot price. Uh, and then uh, you can see these dots here, okay? Well, these dots signify transactions. They're trades, okay? A green dot here is an aggressive market buy, okay? They, it's aggressive because they crossed the spread, they paid up for it, uh, and uh, they took liquidity off of the best offer. They didn't provide it, they took it, okay? A, a market sell is here, okay, with the red dot. Uh, and um, that's that, okay? So those are the two elements there on the chart, uh, and um, we also have this, uh, you see these numbers here, this is a uh, uh, add-on indicator, the iceberg detector, okay? Uh, and then the uh, that, that third element is simply the heat map, okay? And that's it. All right, guys, well, uh, let's wrap it up. It's time to get to the next webinar. Uh, it will, we'll see you there, or we'll see you same time tomorrow here, okay? All right, take care. Bye-bye.